morning everyone how are you going today i'm just sitting in the car park at the moment i've traveled up to my dad's house me and my dad are actually going down to sydney today he needs to get a pacemaker put in so we're heading down to sydney for that and we'll probably be staying at least overnight possibly two depending on how well the surgery goes but i've just driven up to port a little bit earlier before i pick him up because i want to just go to big w and kmart just for a quick look because i haven't been in ages and i don't really get the opportunity to come up here a lot so uh, especially you know by myself these days so I thought well I'll take you guys in with me we can have a quick look in Big W quick look in Kmart and then we'll go pick my dad up so um, let's just head in get a coffee now and we'll go check out Big W oh sweet Gloria jeans how I love you <laughs> oh my favorite drink is the mocha truffle you gotta try it if you love mochas you'll love the truffle so Big W here in Australia is similar to like a Target store, just not as big. Um, and I just noticed in our one now, they're starting to get all the Christmas gift packs out, which are really good. Oh, and here is where I picked up my Friends t-shirt. A couple of people were asking where I got it when I was wearing it in my last video. So yeah, if you're in Australia and you're near a Big W store. They've got a section here where it's all the licensed teas. So like you'll find Stranger Things, Harry Potter, Friends, Disney. They did not have any of the ones, the specific ones that I had, but um, yeah, they had all different ones. And I'm just having a quick look at their home decor. Our Big W here in Port is a pretty poor effort for home decor. The section is very tiny. It's basically two aisles and that's it. And yeah, they don't really have a lot. And the prices are a little bit more expensive than Kmart. You can usually find very similar things in Kmart for a bit cheaper. So I don't buy a lot of uh, Big W home decor, but they do have a few nice little things. Lot of the mustard colors are coming in at the moment here these prints were quite nice yeah so a lot of like earthy tones like mustards beiges pinks is like pretty on trend in Australia at the moment and this pampas grass I think here in Big W it's about nine dollars but you can pretty much pick up the exact same stem in Kmart for about it's either five or seven, I'm not sure. So a little bit cheaper in Kmart. That print's really nice. I like that one myself. I just don't really have anywhere to put it. Lots of new baskets are out. So I'm heading now to the Christmas section. Obviously, they've got all their Christmas stuff out. And I think Big W's up their game quite a bit on their Christmas stock. I really like the way they do the themes now. So they'll have like all the gift wrap, ribbons, all of that sort of thing, all in colour-coded themes and all the decorations you can put on them, which I really, really like. Because I like coordinating all my presents and then they've got all the traditional coloured bags and all of that sort of stuff as well. And reasonably priced, like they're, they're pretty pretty reasonably priced. Like a, a roll of those, those Christmas wraps were only about $4 for a pack of four, I think. Down this aisle is all the hampers and lolly bags and lolly stockings, biscuit tins. My kids have pretty much grown out of all of this stuff now. They don't really, they're not really, my kids are not really ones that eat a lot of lollies and chocolates and that at, at the best of times. So I don't usually bother with any of that stuff for them now. A few Santa sacks there and tree skirts. I really like this one. I might actually go back and buy this one because um, I've got in mind to put it in my entryway and all the Christmas trees stacked up and like I said like they do with their um, gift wrap and all that they also have like color-coded themes for all their Christmas decor as well now why did I skip that other aisle that was the aisle I should have gone down it had all the Christmas decor I missed it completely oh god I'm an idiot <laughs> 
Well, here's some nice serving ware, all in the golds and blings, which are quite nice. I hope I go down there later on. I can't even remember if I do now. Such an idiot. I don't think I do, you know. I'm a terrible, terrible vlogger. Another wooden board for $25. It's pretty big, but I don't like spending too much on those. And you can get these in Kmart for a lot cheaper than $15. Cookie jars, cute. Big trifle bowls. Different tumblers. This is all the silver silver colours. I've got some cute mugs as well. I think I've pretty much got all the mugs that I'm ever going to need, so I'm not um, getting any more mugs this year. Cheese set. A little reindeer plate. That's cute. Some tea towels, plastic tablecloths, handbags. Please let me have gone down. Oh, I think I end up buying these too. Yeah, no, I missed the main decorating bloody aisle. Oh, I'm an idiot, honestly. But yeah, well, you can see some of the decor on the trees. So we have the gold theme, the pink theme, the white and neutral themes. God, I'm, I'm kicking myself I didn't go down that aisle. That was the main one I should have gone down. Idiot. Idiot. So this is all the girly section, different hands, like hand creams and soaps and all of that. They make good stocking stuffers or Kris Kringle gifts or um, if you've got like a female you need to get a little gift for. And now we're in Kmart. Oh, I love Kmart. So yeah, great vlogging here. Again, I'm just picking up a catalogue because why not? These were so cute. Have a look at this. A strawberry shaped drink dispenser and some matching strawberry shaped mason jars. My God, are they perfect for summer or what? And I mean, I know half the world is going into winter right now, but here in Australia, we're going into summer and that would just be so great. These are the what I came for. Oh, these little Santa mason jars, $3 each. How cute are they? Oh my God. And they're proper glass too. They're not plastic. Then we've got all the, like the appliances. So like your popcorn maker, your frozen drink maker, cotton candy maker, chocolate fountain, crepe maker even, trifle bowls. You can see the prices are a lot cheaper than Big W. They've got some great stuff in here actually. We've got some Christmas chopping boards. They're only $8. The big reindeer cheese board and knife set, that's only $18. All these boards, they had Christmas tree designs on them, which were quite nice. That one's a little bit darker. I like that one. I don't think I ended up getting it though. And we've got some side plates here and some glass storage containers, some mason jars, biscuit tins. They're always really good. A few more Christmas decor items here, galvanized tub. Christmas aprons and oven mitts and tea towels and pot holders. This art shelf is really nice. I was tempted to buy it, but I just, oh, I don't know. I've got so much decor at the moment. I need to sort of start dwindling some of it out, I think. This is really nice. Yep, ended up getting that by the looks of it. <laughs> this little hanging pot was nice. I think it was only like 8 or $9. It looks quite realistic, like probably not close up, but if you're far away and you squint a little bit, <laughs> you have one eye open, it'll look kind of real. <laughs> I didn't mind this. Did I get it? Did I get it? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> oh, God. They have a lot of um, a lot of options for serving boards and wooden boards in Kmart that I really, really like. 
I don't need any per se, but they're, they're quite nice and really great for the holiday season, serving all your snacks and that sort of thing. I smashed my, oh my God, I smashed my favourite, well, I didn't, the friggin' cat did, smashed my favourite salt and pepper shakers from Kmart and, of course, they don't have them in stock anymore. So now I've just, yeah, I'm trying to find them. I've been searching all the buy, swap and sell sites, seeing if anyone's got a set for sale and I just can't find them anywhere. And I'm so devastated. Bloody cat. I don't even like the cat. And, yeah, she just knocked them all off the table and smashed them. Oh so upsetting here's a whole range of cutting boards and serving boards i'm actually on the lookout for another squarish looking one like one that's got a handle but it's either square or rectangle shaped i've got enough of the round ones um, i just prefer the square one so I've, every time i come into kmart i'm on the lookout for another square sort of cutting board but yeah, if you ever need cutting boards or serving boards, Kmart's the place to go. They've got heaps and they're quite cheap. This is Kmart's version of Ray Dunn. Different lettering, but yeah, they're trying. I'm, I'm not keen on it. I mean, they're all right, but yeah. I Here's a nice range of different canisters. These are all ceramic canisters, that um, ceramic or glass that Kmart sell. They've got a different, a whole new range out now. So I'll head on down to the Christmas section or some of the home decor in the Christmas section. That's the laundry aisle and they've got all the different baskets, laundry hampers. Here's all the bathroom section. I don't know if I've ever taken you guys on whole shop with me at Kmart. These soap dispensers I've been looking for and I think I ended up picking up a few of them. I love them because they're, just, they're glass, they're just nice and plain, nice and simple but very farmhouse looking to me. So I ended up getting a couple of those. There's a range of towels that they have at the moment. And we've got here all bathroom storage solutions, mirrors, shower caddies now we're heading into the bedding section and heading on further up this way is the home section so here's where some of the home christmas stuff starts this is a really nice pillow i really like this i was tempted to pick this up but i think i'm just going to see what sort of decor i still have from last year because i can't always remember <laughs> what i've got so i think i'll do a bit of a stock take um, first and then if i still think i need uh, another pillow i will definitely pick one of those up here's all the different scented candles these make nice gift packs for people if you know, if they're very hard to buy something for, you can't really go wrong with a candle, can you? They've got all these ones. These look pretty, but they don't smell great. The cookie one's not too bad, but I'm just not into that sort of fragrance. But yeah, here's some picks for your holiday decor or adding to your Christmas tree. Some ho-ho-ho baskets and tubs. More nice little Christmas scented gift packs. I love this set, linen, the fresh linen. That is my kind of smell and this set will be going home with me as a little gift to myself. <laughs> oh. So they've got lots of nice little Christmas gift sets out. Perfect for like Kris Kringle or a little office, you know, if you need to get something for someone in your office or stocking stuffers. I love all these sort of stuff. These are nice little baskets that they didn't have last year. These are quite new, same as those as well. I have a set of these wooden tubs at home that are, are going to get a bit of a makeover this year. Probably very similar to this style. Maybe using my Cricut, maybe not. <laughs> then we have more storage tubs here. Oh, wow, these are so cute. Look at them. Are they like little, what are they, little dogs? Tigers, who knows, they're cute. All of these storage baskets are really great for pantry storage or linen storage as well. I really like these. And for quite reasonably priced too. Got 
got a heap more baskets, new baskets down here. These are all new. This is like a little, um, like a big laundry hamper type basket. These look great. I like all them. We've got the uh, lots of baskets. You could use these as like a plant pot holder. These are like a macrame rope woven basket. The linen ones are really nice with the gold handle. They're all new. Back over to here, we've got some black accents going through some of those. They're really nice as well. Oh, baskets galore. My God. This little section, we have organizers for jewelry, little jewelry stands, trinket trays, jewelry cabinets, mirrored jewelry tray. Yeah, so basically jewelry storage is all of this section. <clears throat> I really like that big mirror. That would actually look really nice on my vanity, but I don't really have any jewelry to put in it, so I could probably stash other stuff in there, I guess. And here we've got all our hooks and coat racks, little shelving units. Again, the prices are really, really good. There's that arch wall shelf again. It's just calling my name, that thing. I need to work out a place where I can put it in my house and what I can put on it. Got some other little black tray, uh, black little storage shelves up there as well that hang on the wall. Some nice prints, little cacti. This is quite a large print. That's only twenty dollars or nineteen dollars for the large print. That's about uh, a what is that? Oh, a one, a one poster size. So this is the section where the sexy man candle should be hanging out. And there is none. There is no space on the shelf for my sexy man candle, which means they're not stocking it anymore. What the hell, Kmart? So upset. So now I am heading to the Christmas section, the Christmas decor section. Hopefully, hopefully I don't miss an aisle this time and I get to show you all that Kmart has to offer in the Christmas department. So these are new. These weren't here last year, the taller bottle brush style Christmas tree. They have the white and the green, which are quite nice. And thank you very much. I will have one of these. I haven't seen these before. I did have the smaller versions in the packs last year. And um, yeah, I think this tall one will go nicely. We have quite a nice selection of wreaths available from Kmart this year. The tree picks are really good. They're only, I think, $5 and you get two picks in each packet. I've gotten loads of these packets and I think I'll be using a few of them in some DIY projects this year. These are really nice. I like these little domes. I've picked up a couple of these for my tiered trays. Oh, they've got a little cowbell here. That's cute. I'll let it be a surprise whether that went in my trolley or not. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got a nice selection of Christmas home decor here from Kmart. Really, really, really affordable. And up the top here, we've got a little galvanised bucket with a plant and some pine cones. We have an assorted array of reindeer. Cute little nutcrackers. These are cute. I think I've got a rose gold one in my craft room. Lots of reindeers. This is the Christmas tree set that I was telling you I got last year. So that large Christmas tree will be going along with those. We have more glitter reindeers now if you don't like the glitter you can always paint over these oh that one's really nice i like that white one with the glitter horns yeah you can always paint over them to match your decor the gnomes are so cute my god and we have some burlap christmas trees down the bottom and these little i think they were metal or wooden little white trees they were really cute too i was in two minds whether to get them these are really cute little light up houses snow globes Little tiny Christmas tree ornaments, and little reindeers. I'm not into that sort of like stuff, like fluffy toy sort of decor so much. I just like more of the wooden and um, 
I don't know what you would call it. But, yeah, these sort of things I'm not really that into. I mean, they look lovely, but they just don't really fit in my decor. Got the big um, nutcrackers there for $20. That's a really good uh, deal because I think they're about 50 centimetres tall, half a metre, so they're quite big. And they've got all these little light up. Oh, they've got the little caravans back again. And these are all light up. That one's an advent calendar at the back there for $20, which is good. Here's a Christmas garland, uh, 1.8 metres for $10. I like the look of those little um, trains as well. These I was I was thinking of making like a, a snow village out of these, but again, I just need to see how much stuff I already have and if it's going to fit and I just don't want to overload everything. But these are really cute. They're only $5 each and they were all uh, light up little Christmas villages as well. So they'd be, they'd look really nice actually. That's that's my kind of decor, like that's the sort of stuff I like. And we've got these little wooden guys down here for $8, some more garland there, leaf garland. I love that letterbox. I love that rustic looking tin letterbox. All the bigger decorations, so like the tree skirts, your Santa sacks, um, big felt boots, ta is it tablecloths, your stockings. I like this burlap one as well. I'm always drawn to anything burlap. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. I have to whisper because everyone's still asleep. It's about 5.30 in the morning. We're just getting ready to take my dad to the hospital. He's getting his pacemaker put in today. Um... We arrived yesterday fine, it was a long drive because it was raining the whole way and yeah by the time, I didn't vlog anymore after that because by the time we got here, got settled in, I did a little bit of work um, as soon as we got here because there was a few urgent things that needed to be done for work. Then we went out for dinner and I just like met up with all my cousins and everyone again which I who I hadn't seen for about 10 years so I didn't get out the camera to vlog long story short I didn't vlog yesterday but um yeah hopefully today so we're going to drop him off at the hospital he has to be at the hospital by 6 30 and um yeah I think he'll have his procedure this morning he may be staying overnight and um yeah so I'll, I'll let you know I'll update you um throughout the day so so I just dropped my dad off he is in at the Prince of Wales Hospital in Randwick so here I am just walking down the main street of downtown Randwick um, I don't think I've ever been to Randwick to be honest so I don't know what it has to offer as far as interesting shopping uh, I just found here now a Royal Randwick Shopping Centre Metro so um, it looks promising it looks fairly big we'll see what that has to offer but before we do any of that we have to visit the Golden Arches <laughs> for a coffee and a McMuffin and a hash brown so I'm just going to sit and enjoy my breakfast and kill a bit of time because I'm not sure how long my dad's going to be. Um, they said to call back at about 11.30 to, and then they'll be able to give me an update as to how it all went and what he's up to. So I'll sit and enjoy my breakfast. How appetizing does that look? <laughs> oh, God. And, um, yeah, we'll do a bit of shopping after that, hopefully. We're home. It's been a long day. Not much happened. All his surgery went well. He's just recovering. He's going to stay overnight just so they can make sure everything's fine and he should be getting released tomorrow. Um, God, I look like I've been hit by a freaking truck. <sighs> so I think I'm going to have a nice shower in a minute and um, have an early night because I don't think I slept really well last night. I kept thinking my alarm wasn't going to go off and we weren't going to get him into the hospital in time. But um, yeah, so I um, I think I'm just going to have a nice shower, have an early night, watch a bit of YouTube, catch up on some of your comments and um, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Oh, wow. Yeah, no. So bright 
these ones. I've never seen these sort of I'm bright not. with the blue faces and that. Oh yeah, they're pretty, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Did you see the other one coming? Yeah, the little up? brown one. Everyone, back home, back home in my craft room. Oh my god, what a weekend. It was so full on. I'm exhausted. Um, we set off. I didn't vlog. We left. Where do I start? So we left Thursday. We were hoping to get back Saturday. But um, my dad had to stay in overnight, so we didn't, and he didn't get released until very late Saturday. So we didn't end up leaving to come home until today, which is Sunday. Um, and yeah, I've just pretty much, we left at about seven in the morning, had to make a pit stop at Krispy Kreme on the way home because it's tradition in our family. If anyone goes to Sydney, they have to bring back Krispy Kreme donuts because we don't have them up here. So they're a bit of a treat. So I had to go from Maroubra was where we were staying. Um, and yeah, travel all the way west to Auburn to get these Krispy Kreme. There was one at Mascot Airport, but I wasn't game to go near the airport. I just know I'll get lost and never get out of there. So I ended up going to Auburn, pick up Krispy Kreme, and then we drove all the way home. Once we got my dad home, set his little, he's got like a heart monitor thing that he needs to sit near his bed now. So we've set that up for him. He's all comfortable, happy at home. He looks great, feels great. He's, yeah, it's it was a good success so far. Um, picked Jamie up on the way home from my dad's. From, he stayed over at a mate's place and they went bodyboarding all weekend long. So I picked him up on the way home and I've just made it home now. So I thought, and that's Rolly being upset because Jessie's just taken the dogs for a walk and she didn't take Rolly with her. So he's very upset. <laughs> I think Jessie's going to come back and take Rolly by, him, by himself after when she comes back. But anyway, I wanted to finish off this whole weekend vlog because honestly, between Friday and Saturday, I didn't do a lot. It was We were just back and forth to the hospital um, meeting up with people I hadn't seen for like 10 years. So, But I thought... I did do a bit of shopping before I left, like you saw at the beginning. So I thought I'd show you all the stuff I bought. Now, remember when I said I wasn't going to buy any Christmas decor this year? Well, I'm a liar. I am such a liar because I bought a heap of Christmas stuff. I couldn't help it. I mean, oh, come on, guys. It's Kmart and you know how cheap Kmart is. I could not help myself. I didn't get a lot and I have in mind exactly what I want to use these for. So they weren't just like random purchases that I just don't know what I'm going to do with, which is what a lot of people do when they go to Kmart. They go, oh, that looks nice. Have no idea what to do with it, where to put it, but it's so cheap. Let's get one. <laughs> um, and that's usually me. But no, all this stuff that I did buy, I do have a actual purpose in mind for it. So I'll go through it quickly. I've got my dockets here so I can let you know how much. Um, so we'll start with the Christmas stuff first, all the Christmas decorations that I weren't going to buy this year. We'll start with those. <laughs> so first up, we've got this little three pack of green Christmas trees. Uh, they did come in white as well. I've already got a set of white. I've possibly already got a set of green, but I haven't pulled my decor out yet, so I'm not really sure. But these always come in handy. You can stick them anywhere. And I plan to put these in my entryway this year. I'm not sure if I've done that last year. And also to go with these, I got a larger version. They never had the larger version of these last year. So, yeah, I got this sort of set. Uh, that I had in mind to use in my entryway this year. Now, the prices on these were $6. No. Oh, she'll be back soon, Rolly. Don't worry. Poor little guy. <laughs> so this set was $6. 
and then the large bottle brush tree oh he was ten dollars okay that's a little bit much but that's all right i mean clearly i was so excited to see that i didn't check the price but probably would have got it anyway so six dollars for the little ones ten dollars for the big guy they are super cute now these two picks i know i do have a couple more of these in my collection it's going to be a diy coming up so i'm not going to tell you exactly what it is these i think were about five dollars each so you get two picks in each packet for five dollars and they also come in red as well you can get the red berry ones as well i know i've got a heap of those um, but these are also going to be for my entryway so yeah that's a diy coming up soon uh, the other thing I got were, I could not pass these up. These were so stinking cute. <laughs> these little Santa glass mason jar drink cups. How cute are they? They're actually real glass. They're Santa. $3 each. So I got four of them. One for each of us. But my God, like they <laughs> how cute. So yes, four of those I got. I, and I did see these in the catalogue, so I was planning to get these. It wasn't an impulse, impulse purchase. It was impulsive once I saw them in the catalogue, but <laughs> I specifically went there to find them. The other thing I got was this little Christmas rope basket. It says it's got handles with handles. Mine doesn't have handles. Oh, it does have handles. Sorry. The handles are like a little slit. So, yeah, a nice Christmas rope basket. And this little rope basket was $6. The other thing I got from Kmart was this little cowbell, a metal tree decoration it's called. Very, very cute. That, again, I bought for some decor in my tiered trays. And then I got two of these little hanging dome tree decorations. Again, I'll just be using... Ah, that one's all bent. How annoying. Oh, well. It can be a falling tree. So, two little dome... I don't know if you can see them there. Two little dome decorations. Again, I bought just to decorate my tiered tray. And then the other one is just a Christmas tree with some presents. Can you see that very well? I don't know if it's focusing on me or the thing. It's still going. <laughs> so two little ornaments and the last thing i picked up from kmart was oh nearly smashed it was this set this would make a really good christmas gift but in all honesty i bought it for myself <laughs> because it's a fresh linen home fragrance so in this you get a room spray a reed, reed diffuser and four fragrant candles all in the fresh linen scent and I mean, if you know me, guys, I love fresh linen scent going through my house. So that is a really, really nice gift pack. And that was, I think that was $20, that gift set. Yeah. So if you're looking for a nice cheap present, even. The other thing I got was this nice, uh, what do we call these? A large natural tray. That's what we call these. <laughs> so like a wicker tray. This, I think, was about $12. No, $13 this was. And, yeah, uh, this I plan to use on my dining table. I've got a Lazy Susan that I want to put in the middle of it. And, yeah, just sit it on my dining table just to make it look a bit more substantial. So, yeah, I thought that was really a good buy for $13 and quite pretty and also quite large as well. The other thing I picked up from Kmart was this little hanging mossy plant or whatever they called hanging pot plant i think he was only about eight dollars yeah hang uh is it nine wait nine dollars um and yeah that need it needs a bit of fluffing but i actually plan to hang this above the kitchen sink in my kitchen obviously if it's above my kitchen sink so yeah i just want to put a little bit of greenery in um just over the window where the, the kitchen sink is. I thought that would be nice. It does hang a bit lower, but some of these branches are all tangled up. So, um, yeah, see, so they're, they're quite low. They just need to be all untangled from each other. So that's, I mean, it's all right. It looks fairly real from a, a distance, if you squint. <laughs> but, yeah, I really liked it, and it was only cheap. So I thought that would be all right. 
The other thing, I think this is the last thing I picked up from Kmart, were these glass soap dispensers. Very simple, very plain, very farmhouse looking to me. Now, I don't know how many soap dispensers I have bought and gone through for this house. It is unbelievable. And I still have yet to find ones that I really like and or ones that haven't had the top crack or break. So I'm hoping these will be good because I want to use, I've got three of them. I'm going to use two in our ensuite and the other one in the kitchen. So yeah, I'm hoping these will be the last ones I buy because honestly, I've gone through so many. Jeez, Rolly, settle down. He's having a fit out there. I don't know if you can hear him prancing around. So these were soap dispenser, $8 each. I think it's the other dogs he's showing off for, to be honest. I'll put you on this side so you can see. Look at him, it's a bloody show off. Either that or he's sulking because he hasn't gone for a walk with Jesse. <laughs> but I honestly think he's just showing off for the dogs over the road. He's getting in trouble now. <laughs> case it's obviously got too much energy at the moment back again settle down Jesse you'll be back in a minute and you'll go for your walk <laughs> he's a funny horse is that it now is he over it oh no it's still coming back Stop. Just settle down, Rolly. You're a peanut. Jessie will be back in a minute and she'll take you. He's looking for Jessie. He's going up to her bedroom window. See where he is there? That's Jessie's bedroom window. He's looking in there for her. She's not in here. Now he's looking in the theatre room. <laughs> he's a funny bugger. I think he's most upset that she took off without him. Because normally she'll go with her dad. So the dad will have the two dogs and she'll walk Rolly. But she's just gone by herself because the dad's mowing the lawn at the moment. I think, I think Michael's shouting at him now, asking him what's his problem. <laughs> like he's gonna answer, he's not Mr. Ed. So, oh, he's back again. So where was I? Soap dispensers, yes. $8 each, Kmart. They're solid glass. The pump, the top and everything looks, you know, a lot more solid than the other ones. So I'm hoping these ones will last. Um, so if you're looking for them. But yeah, so I think they had a glass tumbler that matched with this. And I think it had on it um, toothbrush or something like that. So if you're looking to get like the full set. <laughs> God. If you're looking to get the full set, they had them there, but these were $8 each. So that was my little haul from Kmart. Now, from Big W, now I did also buy some kids' presents as well in this haul, but I'm not going to show them because I have a feeling they watched some of the vlogs last year and so they knew what they were getting. So I'm not going to show any of the kids' presents what I got um, in this haul. I'll just show you the decorations. So next I went to Big W, but the little decoration things I got from there was this little um, Hessian Merry Christmas sack, which I plan to use in my tiered tray. Um, just as a little, I'm just going to fill it up with a little bit of stuffing and then just display it on the tiered tray. And then the other one I got from Big W was this little small Santa sack for $5. And again, um, I'll probably just display that somewhere, just, you know, fill it up, make, maybe make even make a little pillow thing out of it. Then I went to Spotlight just before I picked up my dad, because uh, if you saw my previous vlog, um, I went to Spotlight the on the Tuesday and they were having a sale on all of their Cricut vinyl. So I picked up a few of the main ones that I would be using, but I thought while I'm at my dad's, I'll go check out the spotlight at Port Macquarie as well to see if they had any of the other colors that I was looking for. And they did have one. They didn't have a lot, to be honest. I picked up another one of the 20 feet black 
uh, Smart Vinyl, which was uh, originally $55, but on sale for $38.50. And then I found a red iron-on Cricut Vinyl. So this is, you can use on like um, clothes, pillowcases and that sort of thing. Clearly it's like an iron-on for material. I got that one for $18.90. So yeah, like I said, they didn't have a lot of colours left. And um, when I went to the checkout, actually, I was very lucky because, like I said, the first lot of vinyl I got was on the Tuesday. And then this this trip that I went to pick up these was on the Thursday. So when I went to the counter um, and she scanned it, they come up full price. And I said, oh, aren't your vinyls on special for 30 percent off? So she rang through to craft, checked the price and apparently they weren't supposed to be the the sale had actually ended on the tuesday but they still had the 30 percent uh price sticker on the shelf so they gave it to me for the 30 percent off price so that was lucky i mean i wouldn't have bought them like i would have just left them if they were the full sale price at that time like because i'd already got one of these so i didn't really need it and i wasn't desperate for that either so, I mean, yeah, I was just lucky I, I still got them for the sale price. So, yeah, if you are looking for the Cricut Vinyls, that sale has unfortunately ended. It was supposed to end on Tuesday last week. So, yeah, pick those two up from Spotlight anyway. The other two little things I picked up from Spotlight, because these were on special as well, I think, again, they might have been 30% off or 25% off. But this little wooden sleigh, how freaking cute is that? It's a nice little wooden sleigh. It's like for a Christmas decoration. But again, stuff like this I like to use in my tiered tray. Now that was $3.75. I think it was around $5 normally. And the other cute little decoration I got were these set of skis, which are super cute. Again, they're like a tree decoration. They were supposed to be $6, but they were on sale. Rolly, she's coming back in a minute. He's so upset. Um, so yeah, these were originally six dollars, but they were on spe special for four dollars fifty. So I thought they were super cute. And the last thing I picked up from Spotlight were these pack of serviettes for Christmas. No, she didn't even charge me for them. Oh well, well they were for free. They were supposed to be five dollars. There you go. <laughs> so that was it for my haul. Um, I will finish the vlog off here so I can start editing it and get it out to you as soon as I can. Hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.